Hello, today I want to tell you a wonderful story. A friend told it to me and we've translated it to English so that I can share it with you today. My dear friend Sepide has made beautiful illustrations to help you see the story clearly. Are you ready? Oh, hi. So nice of you to join us. Well, here's our character and here's the story. Hassani, an old Persian tale. I'd like to tell you a story of a boy. His name was Hassani. Do you know who I am speaking of? He was a grubby little boy, dirty from his head to his toes. You would remember if you saw him because he had horrible hair, a filthy face, and gnarly nails. Ooh, foo. Hassani was a lonely boy, lonesome and friendless, with no one to play with. No one was his friend. Not donkey, not swan, not even the cutesy baby chicks. No one was his friend. And so I begin my tale. Long, long ago, there was a boy by the name of Hassani. He stood alone outside of his family's home in a small, quiet village. He was all by himself, bored and looking for someone to play with. His father came along and said to him, My boy, I think it is time for your bath. No, I don't want it. No, he replied. My boy, let me take you to the barber to trim your hair father suggested. No! I don't want it! No! And with that, Hassani ran off down the road. While running from father's advice of a bath and the barber, he was startled by the sound of clip-clop. Here came Donkey, so strong, so tall, so proud. He was passing through the village cheerfully and in lifted spirits. Hey, donkey, where are you galloping to? He asked. I'm going to get my car. I have important work to do and I am late. But my handsome dear donkey, your mane is so beautiful and your tail so wispy. Won't you give me a ride? Of course not, exclaimed the donkey. Why not? whined Hassani. Well, I am a clean and respectable donkey, in case you hadn't noticed. And what about you? Horrible hair, a filthy face, and gnarly nails. Ooh! Foo! Lonely and sad, Hassani strolled toward the lake at the edge of his village. He was lost in his thoughts of sadness and despair when he was startled by a loud splash. A bird then emerged from the lake and approached him. Hassani stood there for a moment, staring in awe at this beautiful creature. Are you a duck or a goose? he inquired. And with her beak up high and in her smoothest voice, she replied, Oh, you sweet child, I am a swan. Will you come and play with me, swan? No, my dear boy, I will not. Why not? Because from morning until evening, I swim and bathe. This lake is my spa. And what about you? Horrible hair, a filthy face, and gnarly nails. Ew, foo. Hassani began his journey back to the village, trudging along the way, feeling even worse than earlier. Right there in front of him, a trail of chicks crossed his path, cheerfully chirping and cheeping. Oh, cutesy chicks, won't you come and play with me? He begged and reached out to pick one up. Mother Hen came around just then and clucked angrily at him. Go 
wait, she shouted. Look at my beautiful chicks, so clean and well kept, fluffy and perfect. Huh, and what about you? Horrible hair, a filthy face, and gnarly nails. Ew, foo. With teary eyes, Hassani headed off again. He meandered through the village and into the square where other children were playing. Hey boys, hey girls, may I come and play with you? He asked earnestly. Of course not, of course not. Of course not. Oh, why not? The boy replied. Hassani, just look at us, well-dressed, clean, and neat. And the girl beside him continued. But look at you. Horrible hair, a filthy face, and gnarly nails. Ew. Foo. And with that, the children ran off to play and left Hassani all on his own. Disappointed, Hassani returned to his father who seemed to be expecting him. My boy, would you like your bath now? He offered. Yes, of course, please, Hassani cried out. And after a long, hot, soapy bath, father asked, My boy, would you like to go to the barber now? Yes, of course, please. Have you seen Hassani? You know who, that charming boy, so smart from his head to his toes. You would know if you saw him because he had handsome hair, a friendly face, and neatly trimmed nails. Donkey and Hen, her chicks and swan, along with all the children circled round Hassani. Donkey spoke up first. Hey kid, climb up, let us take a ride. And then Hen clucked kindly. Why don't you play with the chicks? They've been waiting. How about a swim, you sweet child? Swan offered graciously. Hassani was no longer a lonely and sad boy. Wasn't that story just as wonderful as I told you it would be? Didn't you just love it? Hassani is such a cutie. And he has taught us a very important lesson, like most characters from stories and books. Stay tuned for the next story by clicking subscribe below. See you next time.